Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the tools add-on, but today is a bit different because so recently I've been having like lag problems with like the add-on review world and I've just basically decided I tried to fix it, I couldn't, so I just like decided to just like generate new a new world and just gear myself up a bit. So this is the new add-on showcase world. So this so I won't be doing anything in survival, this will just be like me entirely creative. Which may be better, may be worse, don't know, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine either way. Still taking long, this long to load though. Would be a bit quicker loading, but probably new. And the leaves just... As the says, it's that staring at me. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, cookie. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Today, we're we'll taking a look at the tools, so well, let's take a look and hopefully. Oh, God damn it, there's another one of these books. And yes, I spawned in a snowbank. I actually spawned somewhere over there in powdered snow. Yeah, not the greatest spawn ever, but it'll work. Oh. So, lucky how to equip, equip as a helmet uh, will uh, buff your tools with fortune. It requires a uh, fire leather, a gold block, and uh, a green die. I think that could just be gold ink because it doesn't really look like it. Uh, it requires a gold block. It looks like a gold ink. It would be enough for that. Or something. Key, you know. Or maybe just have it say like a... Uh, it's a like leather helmet that's been dyed... A green green leather helmet with like gold nuggets around it. Kind of like gold nuggets or something. I don't know. There's the scuba mask. Uh, equipped as a helmet. Gives it respiration. Three leather, two glass, a nine ingot, and a dirt, three turtle scoot. Mining a hat. The crew has a helmet, emits a light. Six iron ingots. Why is there a chain there? Random chain and a lantern. Then you've got the super boots. Gives you a double jump to overcome obstacles. Boots and two potions? I'm not very sure. Is it like jump? Hold on. P O T I O N. Potions. So. Leaping? Yeah, so that's a leaping potion. Is it a swift? Potion of swiftness? And some gold boots. Also, if I go into hell, yeah, so it was the lucky hat, the mining helmet, and the scuba mask that we saw. Uh, I don't have any crafting tables. Craft stations, why not? Game move. Oh, God, I hate, this is why I don't like these, uh, Books, you go a little bit away, and it's just like nah. And I can see it leaping one and swiftness one, so it can't be two, it has to be one. Okay, I'll just give myself the boots. So, super boots. Give at P super boots. So I'll show these off real quick. Put the super boots on. Uh, hold on, let me take the rest of my arm off so the effects go away. Ah, Ready? No. No, Lily. 
So it gives you speed and jump boost. And if you hold space bar, you do a double jump. And you don't take fall damage, that's actually pretty cool. Lily! Oh, God damn it, Dag. You're back in it, nothing. Oh, like spike. You see, it's pretty cool, boots. Uh, can't really show off the effects of the hat, but. If you're Irish, you'd like it, but yeah. Apparently, it increases the effect of fortune, so. <laughs> Lily, stop it! Come on, up ups now. Come here. Anyway. And then, mining helmet, if I set time, set mid. Ah, uh, so. It's not, didn't work how I thought it would work, I thought it would work like the ones from the Essentials. Oh, and it's also melted the ice because of the light level. Um, but yeah, it just lights up an area around you. If I go to game mode 1 real quick. Game mode 1. And I just give at P. Right. Okay. So yeah, it puts two light level 15 blocks, ah, uh, three, where you're standing, because it's one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, so it puts three light blocks where you're standing. And I'll just patch up these holes. And this one apparently gives you respiration. So let's just break a block. Oh no, it doesn't give you, so it just help, makes you breathe on the water, it gives you water breathing. Alright, so yeah, that's cool. Next up. This is why I don't like these books. Uh, next up is goggles. Equip as a helmet. Uh, start uh, living in the night to lie for fun. It's free leather, two glass paints, and two pictures of night vision. Probably level one. Give at P and night vision goggles. I put these on. They give you night vision. Night vision is a is a really handy effect. So this is pretty cool. And they look cool on you. You look like you're from Splinter Cell or something. Uh, backpack. Interact place down. Sneak and interact pick up. Sneak and jump to remove it. So it's free lever and a chest. So give at P back. Pack item. So interact place down. And you can open it. I, yeah, you can open it. You can sneak and interact to pick up. And sneak and jump to put down. Yeah, that works. Pretty cool. It'd be cool if you could, like, sneak and uh, interact or sneak. Uh, uh, well, yeah, sneak and interact would be cool. Like, without with nothing in your hand to, like, open up the backpack while it's on your back. So apparently I was holding the sneak while jumping there. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Weeks. I'll just put that there. Next up is the, is the backpack. Equip it and hold jump to uh, start flying. It's a backpack, a furnace, and the uh, five iron ingots. Yeah. So I've equipped it, it's uh, it's in my chest slot. And you fly, and you can fly up for 20 seconds. You get some decent height with this, it's not very good. It's good vertically, but not really horizontally, because you can see not really making much progress going horizontally. And I guess when I go to zero, yeah, it's on cooldown. 
But it doesn't just drop you out of the sky, which is nice. It does actually give you slew falling, so you don't die. Uh, but it does mean you can't sprint jump. If you have it on, because it's just going to want you to fly if you try sprint jumping. I've got to check, can these be enchanted? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boots can be enchanted with soul speed protection, feather falling, which you don't really need. Fallen, step strider, unbreaking, and mending. Now, vision goggles can be enchanted with protection, fawns, respiration, aqua affinity, unbreaking, and mending. And I guess in with this protection forms, respiration, aqua affinity, unbreaking and mending. Protection forms, respiration, aqua affinity, unbreaking and mending. Protection forms, respiration, aqua affinity, unbreaking and mending. Unbreaking and mending. So yeah, they can be enchanted. Not all of them can have all the enchantments, but they can. Most, but you, they, they really just have the enchantments you want. I guess it would be nice if uh, the jetpack could have protection as well. Well, I'm breaking free of my name, the only ones that really, need, really, really need. Wait, well, yeah, there's no reason to take the look. Uh, air balloon. Place down to discover new horizons using coal. So let me get some coal. I'm going to try coal. Lots of coal. And charcoal. So it's the air balloon. Hot mini hot air balloon. Oh, let me turn set day. All right, so if I try charcoal first, yeah, it works with charcoal. So it goes up and for. So yeah, you have to press forward, but yeah. And if you look down, it goes down. If you look up, it goes up. Pretty cool. Oh, out of charcoal. I think. Yeah, there we go. Sure. Oh no. It's just because I was looking down. Yeah, you can open your inventory about it going down. So, oh, we actually got a good demonstration here. It's good for, like, if you want to go up, like, if you're adventuring and there's a big cliff in your way, you just go up. And you can just fly over the mountains. Does this take... Oh, it has an inventory as well. I don't know if it'll take coal out of the inventory when it needs to be refueled. I don't know how long coal will last. Oh, okay, that's run out, so... I right click that, it just does that. Okay, so it doesn't take coal blocks, it just takes coal and charcoal. I'm just going to put all that in there. The skew back. Oh, I shift clicked. So yeah, if you shift click, you will just fall out and take damage. Parachute would be cool. Or glider. 
I forgot to give myself food. Give at P golden how at sixty four. Nope. I ate while I was dead, anyway. Yeah, back here. Eh, it's not too far away if I need it. Uh, now I've got to flick through, flick through all these pages again. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm, oh, god damn. I hate these books. Oh, I could just uh, sneak in the... Ah, oh, god damn it. Get pack, hot air balloon. So yeah, that's crafted with wool, thinness, and uh, uh, three logs. And then we've got the fishing boat. Travels fast and collects fishes. So it's three string, an iron ingot, and a boat to get the fishing boat. Give at the fish. Hmm. Boat spawn. Technically it's a spawner. Can I boat on the... Aye, right, so yeah, no, it's doesn't work as an it does not work as a nice boat. I because I have looting and plundering on my sword. I got four boats. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They might wanna fix yet. The way there should be an ocean somewhere nearby that I can boot on. Long year mood one. Yeah, there's a bit of water here I can boat on. So I put the boat on the water. I right click it, yeah, it's got two fish. If I just boat around for a bit, I'll collect fish. Is this all right? I mean, if you don't have... I don't know why a fish went into my inventory. Uh, if you don't... If you don't have a fishing rod, this would be a decent way of getting fish. It does sometimes put them in your inventory, though. And it's also basically a chest boat. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself. And then we'll be back here. So, those can go over there. Uh, flip, flip, flip. Hot air balloon, fishing boat. Next up we've got stone boat. Use like a boat but on lava. It's a five, um, five stone bricks and a stone shovel. Give at the stone. But uh, at her. Dune boat. Uh, let's just go and go over here. I'm gonna say never portal. Set lock portal. Oh wait, boom, boom, boom. Portal. Here we go. Ah, spawn inside the cave. Usually I'd be happy about this because it's safe inside the cave. Oh, there's lava about. Ow, I'm on fire. Okay, I'm fine now. Yep, it's a boat, but for lava. Oh, and it put me in the lava. 
Thankfully, it gives you fire resistance, so if you get out, then you put, it puts you in the lava, then you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to like find a way out of this cave and between this review and next, maybe. Oh, come on! Game. Uh, I'll just kill. Anyway. Yeah, I hate this book. I hate this book. I hate these books. Why do uh, add-on makers keep on putting these books in their add-ons? Why can't they just do the good books? Next up is Tractor. Interact uh, on the uh, furnace with a piece of coal to uh, make it go. Put seeds inside the chest to plant them. Scrap with a uh, with a minecart, a minecart chest, a furnace, two redstone blocks, and three iron blocks. Give at P tract tractor cart. So there's not really on game one, not really much arable land nearby. Uh, what about over here? There might be something somewhere over here I can plant. Try out on. No, no, it's all stewing. Oh, wait, I see green. I see skies of blue. Red, red, and fields. Of green. I, don't, I can't remember the song. It's been uh, probably since the last time I watched. Uh, Madagascar, Madagascar, so he was heard that. Anyway, yes, here we go. Uh, I want coal and seeds. Coal, seed. Let's get wheat and let's get some carrot, potato, hot. Potatoes and carrots. We put this down. We put coal in it. And let's put five each in. Well, six cows, I guess. So yeah, it's automatically ploughing and planting. So far it's just planted the seeds. Oh. According to this, it has planted all of them. So I guess it's done that. So yeah, it does plant carrots, potatoes and wheat seeds. Yeah, that's cool. If you're lazy and you can't be bothered to plant your own crops, this will do it for you. Just have to like get all the, the water sorted out first, otherwise they're just gonna dry up and die. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, so seeds. Yeah, potatoes. There should be some carrots around here somewhere. Potatoes. I haven't had any of the carrots that it's supposedly planted. Oh yeah, here we go, carrots. Yep, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm not going to kill myself. And we'll get back. Move on to the next thing. I should have done immediate respawn. Ah, now I flip through this book again. Dear damn it. Next up is the uh, toilet. 
Place down to defend your home. So it's uh, three, six, seven uh, short shells, a gold block, and a redstone block. Give at P to. Right. So let's place this down on the crafting table. I hate these parks. I so say, if I someone Vinnie Vindicator. Oh, oh, I don't have my armor on. There we go. Yeah, you shoot shulker bullets at them. He's not very good at dodging them. I don't really think Mojang intended them to be attacked by shulkers. I even need, oh, and he died. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go on to the next thing. God, I need these box. End anchor, use it like a never anchor, but in the end. Well, what's a never anchor? Yeah, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. I think it means respawn anchor. And. And. Yeah, it's a, it's a respawn anchor, I guess. So, let me just go over here and place in. A. And. Oh, all right. Set block. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. End. Portal. Here you go. I'm in the end. I'm in the end. Let's kill the other dragon quickly because she's going to be annoying. Loud. There, she's dead. Anyway, so we put this down. Guess we're supposed to feed it Ice Vendor. Give at P I in the way. Yeah. So sixty four. So when it's active, it. Oh. Two, three, four. Ah, oh, wait. Now, I guess there's not a limited amount of charges. So if I just kill at P, I should respawn there. Yep. Okay. And it doesn't lose charges, I guess. Anyway, let's go back to the overworld. Alright, next up in this book you will find out in like an hour when I find Fit Burial. Yeah. Here we go. Next up is Waypoint. Hold the sword and hit the top part of it to interact. It uses a beacon, five glasses, and three stones. So give at P we point. We have waypoint. We place it down. So ah, so we can add waypoint and to name spawn submit and then list waypoints as ah, so it teleports you so if I give myself another one and I just like go up how long get game move one because vertical movement with this flying is not good and then 
we put another one here. Punch. Add waypoint. Top of mount. Mount. In. Mountain. Punch. List of waypoints. Spawn. Teleporting to spawn in three, two, one. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. It's really expensive, so uh, that balances it. It out the balances it. It balances out the fact that it uh, teleports. Yeah. Hate this book. I hate this book. I hate, hate, hate this book. Stop putting these books in your add-ons. Here's your trash can. Things, things on it to them. Drop things on it to delete them. Why well, didn't I read you? Anyway, so it's uh, five, six, seven iron ingots uh, and a lava bucket. Airdrop has been dropped. Airdrop? What? Okay. Uh, so if I give out P trash. And I just put it there. Do little trash can. And say give at p dirt sixty four. I drop the dirt on it, and it kills the dirt. That's pretty useful. Use it in a uh, uh, for your like overflow system instead of lava. Fertilizer upgraded bone meal. It's eight bone meal. Give at p fit. I'm gonna give myself a stack, so 64. So, let me just go over there, because I think there's some water over there. Yeah, so, give it P, dirt, so, dirt. I placed it there. Oh, hey, here's that drop thing. Oh, you get a bunch of stuff on me, like torches, charcoal. So this would actually be pretty good for like super flat worlds. So it gives you some stuff that you can get in super flat, like, like torches or flats. It's just flat on my dog. So yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so if I give at P H O E, boom, give at P cow. How much? So I put the carrot in and I use one. Okay, it does an AOE. And it turns stone into moss, which is actually pretty cool. So then that means you don't have to go searching for moss. Okay, yeah, that's cool. And it instantly grows them. Uh, what does it do on grass, though? Let's go over here. There's, should, there's some grass here. If I right click the grass, yeah, it just grows flowers normally. But if I right click a flower, uh, no, so it doesn't have the uh, feature that normal bone meal has of like growing more flowers when, of the same flower when you bone meal a flower. Uh, give. At P Spruce Saplings Four. What does this do to saplings? I assume it just oh, uh, fully grows them. Oh. No. Nope. I allow the sometimes. Right, from my experiences, sometimes 2x2 two two trees just don't want to grow for no discernible reason. So let's try over here. Okay, let's just try a single sapling. It does not work on saplings. Okay. That's disappointing.
So it doesn't grow more of the same flowers and it doesn't grow saplings. So that's... So that I would mostly just use this for like growing a large amount of uh, crops at once. Or just turning a lot of stone into moss. In a large area. Oh, that, I don't think there's any other uses. So yeah, a little bit disappointing, but not a useless feature. All in all. Uh, the problem is that it'll use up even if it doesn't, uh, even if it doesn't grow anything. So they should make it so that if it's not growing anything, then it doesn't get used up. All right, back to flipping pages. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, birthday cake. It's a cake and a candle. Interact with uh, something in your hand to take a bite. Give at P birthday cake. So we have the birthday cake. We place it down. Can't eat it without something in your hand. And there we go. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Dino might throw it too far away from your from you. It's dangerous. Is scratch it, you get four from one TNT. Give at P Dino Dynamite sixty-four. Uh we'll go over here and blow up this mountain a little bit. Yep. The throwing isn't very good. I wanna destroy his ice. Yeah, it's just a small explosion and a TNT, basically. We can throw a bunch of these. They launch each other as well. I think I broke the uh, noise. The sound effect. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, break if I kill at E type equals dyna, dynamite, close bracket, enter. There we go, that fixed it. See, a little bit buggy, but not a bad feature. You just got to be careful to not spam them, otherwise you break the, break it. Anyway, next up, wait, where did this shulker come from? Did you hit yourself and then you made a bait and then you made a shulker with your shelf? Or something, what? Oh, wait, no, that's my shulker box. Eh, silly me. I thought that was a natural shulker. So you keep making shulker noises. I wonder if it could do that though. God, after this review, it's going to be me flipping pages. So whenever you take a few, a couple steps. Oh, wait, um, did I miss any? No, that was fine. So then we got the golden trees, three saplings and two golden apples. Use it like a sapling. So give at P dirt. Give at P golden Sapling. Golden tree sapling. Golden tree sapling. So I'll go here. Plant the sapling. Uh, give a pea meal. 
be fun. Oh, he only took one. So it grows this. So do you punch... Yeah, if you punch the leaves, you get golden apples. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Golden apples aren't too OP. If this was an enchanted golden apple tree, then yeah, it would be really OP. And you'd have to get three enchanted golden apples, which isn't super easy, but yeah. Didn't get, didn't get any saplings, but did get 13 golden apples. And there's also a new wood type. So you got the logs. Uh, hold on. Give at P X. So if you write, so you can't strip it. And using an axe doesn't speed up the harvesting. Can you not make planks? Oh, you can't make planks. So maybe in the future they'll add the golden tree planks and all that. Would like that. Here you have the leaves, the leaves, the apple, log, and sapling, yeah. I assume we can probably, like, uh, silk touch her or... She had the leaves. Oh, come on, book. Uh, this is going to kill my engagement. Anyway. Uh, oh, got gold golem. So it's basically an iron golem, but with gold. Use a saddle to ride it and use the gold ladder to heal it. So give at P sad saddle. We've got saddle. Cow. Cow pumpkin. Block of. Oh, it's not block of gold. Gold block, what? Yeah, gold den block. Four. So, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Lily! Oh, keep you in. Stop it. Put the gold, the saddle on it, and you can ride it into battle! And if I summon Vinny again, some Vin. Ah, he will protect you. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. He did take some damage, but I don't think he has, like, you know. I uh, don't think he has textures for, like, cracking or anything like a nine gold one does when they take damage. Alright, next up is the big chest. It's four chests. Works like a normal chest. Give that P big chest. I'm going to need to go to game mode one. E big chest. There you go. Oh, it's upgraded chest, not big chest. Alright, so you place it down, it's an entity... What? It says it's upgraded, what? Where's the upgrade? It's just a chest! This is a scam! Works like a normal chest, but it's just... What, what, where's the upgrade? Why does it cost four chests? That's a rip-off. You got a big under chest, works like a normal chest. Give at P up. 
upgraded ender chest. If I put them in there, and I put another down another upgraded ender chest. Nope. So it's basically just an ender chest themed big chest, which is a big chest. Why? Why would you craft these other than like decoration? A uh, gift box, a like gift that stuff it to people by opening it like a chest. Give at p gift chest. So you have the gift chest. So you place it down. Put, can you put? No. I guess you just like place it down and then put stuff in there and then you place it down and it's in their base and put stuff in it and then they can like open it and get stuff out. Yes, that's fine because I only use a single chest in some paper. I would, I would change out some of that paper, like have it be four paper and four light blue dye. Go the big brew is free uh, brewing stands and free ironing gets so fool your friends with it just they decor. Oh, well, what's the point then? Brew. It's even called the upgraded brewer. Like why? Why would you craft that? I don't get why they just add things that's really uh, useful. Uh, sneak and interact use the grappling hook. Okay, so now it's a wood block, I redstone block, and three iron ingots. Give at P grap, grappling hook. Oh, sneak and interact. Oh, there we go. It's pulling me towards where it went. It went down here. So. There we go, it's stuck into the block that time, but it doesn't always stick into the block, apparently. Which could be annoying. But you can use it to, to like, tra traverse large areas. I almost send myself to the end, then. And it got stuck in midair this time. Weird. Yeah, pretty good for traversal, just... Oh. Did send me into powdered snow. Just not really the best, like, grappling hook I've ever seen. There is an entire add-on dedicated to grappling hooks that I've not used that in a while. But yeah, not bad. Next, ah, oh, wait, so I have to wait for the pages to put. Hey, stop grizzling. Right. There we go, finally, drill! It helps you mine that faster, destroys only stone. So it's free iron, an iron block, and a, a log. Give at P drill. So let's go over to the stone area over here. Yeah, mine's a 3x3 three three area. Pretty fast as well. Oh, and I found the cave. Does it mine the ore? It does mine ore. It said it didn't mine ore. Yeah. Let me double check. And 
We're almost there. Destroys only the stone. Let me go into game mode one and see how many drills there are. Drill. In case I accidentally. No, there's only one drill. It does even say it helps your mind faster like that. Hmm. I don't know. What's up next? The robotic arm. To place. Uh, use it with the left hand while holding a block in the right hand. So, robot. Oh, I can't find this. It says robotic arm. And if I go to the inventory and I put in robot, doesn't come away. So I'm going to have to get iron. Just get some iron and I'll craft it at the uh, spawn. I'm also going to check if this can be enchanted. It can it be enchanted? Yes, it can. With fortune and breaking efficiency and mending. So it can also probably uh, uh, be enchanted with such touch if it could be enchanted with fortune. Okay, I'm guessing this isn't even in the game. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, four iron ingots. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it does exist. Telescopic claw, it does not. Okay, so it doesn't. Oh, wait, I, that's probably because I have iron filter. Yeah, there we go. So it does. It, how the hell? Like, they got to sort out their names. So this is supposed to go in the offhand. And I've got some cobblestone, so if I just. Okay, this is, it's useful. It would be nice if they gave it the right name in the book. Like, how far away can you place? So, not that far. Here we go. Actually, if it's straightforward, uh, if it's straightforward, I should. Yeah, I can. So, there we go. So, this block. So, game mode one. Yeah, it's plenty far away. I just want to see exactly how far. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So sixteen blocks away. And it goes in your offhand. So yeah, this is basically what the. Uh, so if you if you were upset about the uh, crab, uh, the crab not being in Minecraft, this is this is the add-on for you because it basically adds what the crab would have done anyway. Probably better because I don't. I doubt Mojang would have made it to that good. You just gotta work on the naming. Oh, and it has. So it does have durability. Also, I've got a very itchy nose. <laughs> so let's see. Can this be enchanted? It'd be funny if this could be enchanted with infinity, and then it was just. It would allow you to duplicate blocks, but that would be too epic because you could do that with diamond blocks and neverite blocks. Yeah, but now you just get on breaking and mending. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they just gotta fix the name. 
Either change the name in the book or change the name in the item. And you're like, come on. Flip, be flip, be flip. I think changing the name of the item would be better because tele teleoscopic claw is a little bit of a mouthful. We're just like robot arm or whatever it was. Yeah, robotic arm is fine. So we've got the super armor stand. It's an a no super axe, not armor stand. Why did I think it was an armor stand? Super axe. It's uh, an axe, but cooler. It's two logs and three diamonds. Give at P super axe. Gim uh, one at a x e. Here you go. It's called the tree again. Why is the name different? Now let's get some bone meal and get a sapling. Uh, so let's go easy on that. Let's just do a normal oak sapling first, and then I'll do a two by two jungle and get some dirt in here. So, first things fit. Get them buck. Eat it. That there. Bone meal the tree. Okay, yeah, pretty good uh, tree cap capitator. It's quick. It has a little animation, so it's not just instant like the uh, tree the tree capitator add-on, which is not very good in my opinion, because it's basically just using the fit, a command, single command to do it, basically. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, but let's try with a big two by two jungle. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Ah, wait. Yeah, no, it didn't do the entire tree, which this would be really annoying to get if you were in survival and didn't have any way of flying up here. So, needs a little bit of work, but it's pretty cool. Uh, and there's multiple other ways to get uh, tree cap data. So if you don't like that tree cap data, you can just use one of the other ones, like from Essentials or from uh, or the tree cap data item from uh, World Utilities. Yeah, pretty good. Alright, what's up next? Flippity, flip, 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 flip. Ah. Grappling hook, drill, automatic arm, super axe. The thunder rod, it's uh, four gold ingots and a lightning rod. Interactive bit, oh, I would have said to smite your enemies. So give at P Thunder Trig no not trigger thunderstorm. God damn it. Right Ning Spear. Yeah, it's called a lightning. God damn it, I gotta figure out their naming. Okay, let's summon a villager and see if this uh, transforms them into a witch. Song cooldown. Oh, come 
on, that was nowhere near him. Yeah, it does say so you can use this to get witches and you know, witches and stuff if you want some witches or uh, turn pigs into zombie pigmen. Uh, I want to go into game mode one so I can check what enchantments this can have. Get from breaking and mending. Alright, so I think they should add a uh, quick charge to this to reduce the uh, cooldown. That'd be cool. I'm still poisoned. Right, come on, come on. Right, super axe, thunder rod. Super pickaxe, it helps you mine faster. It's three crying obsidian and two sticks. Give. That the super pickaxe. So, I don't know the airdrop. Uh, give at P obsidian 64. So let's just build a bit of a obsidian here. Alright, so this. Ah, so it mines probably like a 3 by 3 area. Let's see what enchantments it can have. Probably just all the pickaxe enchantments. I'll probably just, yeah, I'll probably just get the drill instead of this. I mean, it has more durability, I guess. So yeah, basically this and the drill are interchangeable. Uh, the slingshot. Interact to shoot it to your enemies. Crafting table plus cobblestone plus... That makes... Oh, I guess... So if I... Uh, Give at P cob cobblestone sixty four. I just put this in the crafting table. Yeah, I'll give you four rocks, and I guess you use these rocks to shoot at uh, mobs, and it's just uh, four sticks and a lever. Give. At peace, sling. Ah, that's not even called a slingshot. Game one. So, yes, double check sling. Okay, yeah, here is. Yeah, slingshot. So, in the, at least in like the give it, give at P inventory is not called a slingshot. Can it be enchanted? With Unbreaking Flame, Punch, Power, and Mending, and probably also Infinity, if you want Infinity on it. So, let's get Vinny in here. Some... Vin... Vindaloo. So, you pull back. And you let go. Cannot hit him to save my life. It would be nice if one of these hit him. There we go, finally. There we go. Yeah, not very good. It's really difficult to hit your opponents. And it's been annoying. 
I can't really recommend that as in as a weapon. There. Okay. Right, next up is the boomerang. Interact to damage your enemies with four and three logs. So game mode one. Boom. There's a chance for me to steal someone else's joke. Let me know if you can if you actually uh so this was, I got this from like watching uh, Yogg's cast, but can you tell, uh, no enchantments for this. Can you tell me who made this joke uh, in one of the Yogg's cast series? So in Australia, boo means to return, because if you throw a regular meringue, it doesn't come back. So yeah, you throw it, and it comes back. So if I move, will it still come back to me, or will it go back to where I was? So yeah, it's basically a magic boomerang. Vindicator. So yeah, it does five damage. So it's a four shot. Oh, does it? Can it damage on the way back if you miss? No, I don't think so. Oh, come on! That went through his head. There you go. He's dead. Finally. I mean, it's a cheap weapon, so you can't expect it to do. To do a ton of damage, but now I have to put through this all over again. I'm gonna take my headphones off. My ears are starting to hit. It is a little bit there. Flutting down my headphones. And also give me a headache, so I don't want to hear the flipping of the pages over and over again. And the guy making the short noises. Come on. Right, boomerang. Next up is the airdrop. We've already seen this. Spawns near you. You each 30 minutes gives you essentials, essential stuff that could uh, be useful to your journey. 0.01% chance to find a secret. Oh. Well, I'm not going to go after that secret. You can find that, Alisa. Minions! Place down and let them farm. To see what they get, interact, so interact to see what they collect. You just craft them with like a crop, a pickaxe, or a hoe, uh, iron chest plate, and boots, and a redstone block. So I just like give at P a minion. on. That says anstein, beetroot, carrot, cobblestone, melon, potato, pumpkin, and wheat. Ah, so I guess what you give them determines what they're going to do. So this one is apparently wheat. So it was probably crafted with wheat. So if I put him down here... Yeah, oh, so he will harvest... Well, he broke the carrots, but he didn't collect them. So if I get... Uh, give at P or uh, uh, at wheat seeds. So if I put one them down there... And I just give myself some bone meal. So he will harvest and he didn't replant. Oh no, he did replant. So yeah, so you could have like one of these guys. So yeah, so I assume then if, for the, if you craft them with other stuff, so... Let's get another one in. So there's one well, like anisrite cobblestone. So let's do cob cobblestone. If I place him over here, will he start mining? No, so I guess he only mines cobblestone. So why is there an anisrite one? I guess I'll just like hang around the area where we place them. So yeah, 
to give at the hub cobblestone. So if I place down this cobblestone, yeah, he'll go mine that cobblestone. So this could be like, useful if you want to automate uh, cobblestone and that, and just the right mine, I guess. So uh, there should be like a deep slate and the like uh, stone one. It was like you could just like put them out to a Y level and it was like start mining on that Y level and then then you can have them looking for diamonds for you. They then they'd be more useful. But the uh, planter ones uh, would be useful. Just craft one of each that you've got growing and then just put them down in your farm, fence them in. And just let them harvest for you. But uh, there is also like the trade-off of that. They don't have fortune. So maybe uh, you could like give them. They could add it so that you can give them a, like a fortune hoe. And, or pickaxe or something. And then they hit the. Or silk touch pickaxe. And then it, they'd apply the enchantments. Yeah. And they're advertising their other add-on. And that's it, apparently. Hmm. I want to double-check something real quick. Game mode 1. So I saw a bunch of up or add. Hmm. Give at P upgrade. Ah, I guess I won't let's be much more. Anyway. So yeah, pretty cool add-on. Uh, some things aren't very useful and I like, don't really recommend, but there are other things as well that are quite useful. So yeah, overall, all in all, it is a pretty good add-on. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye! Oh, wow.